Hello and welcome back. We are down at our large greenhouse build. The snowstorm and the weather has just been inhibiting our progress on this build. We had a bunch of freezing snow. We've got negative temperatures last night. I wanted to bring everybody in and kind of show this greenhouse, kind of a one week systems check. I haven't been out here in quite a while. The greenhouse is sitting about 50 degrees in there. That's pretty decent. We've got our warm air blowing up and just circulating through the whole greenhouse. This little fan has ran amazing, but it is not as productive because it is the 10 watt model and it requires more energy from the sun to operate than our five watt fans. But when it does run and when it intermittently runs on a cloudy day, it gets some decent airflow and it really cranks some heat in here. To be sitting 50 degrees in this greenhouse to have 19 degrees outside really makes a difference that is amazing and that's just a little bit of active heating from our compost systems from our little solar box which is not directly in the sun now because the sun is at the angle where we are not getting anything in here and we have snow all over the top of this but in the early morning we got some decent sunlight in here and it was able to heat this greenhouse up without actually using a heater or burning any fuel. So aside from our little solar air heating box, which is not as active right now because the sun is at a lower level than it was earlier today when I came out and checked on this, this was cranking about 75 degrees out of it with direct sunlight. So that's a good, good number for the dead of winter here. We are seeing negative temperatures at night and snowstorm after snowstorm here, which we haven't accumulated a whole lot of snow, maybe a couple inches to six inches at the most. But if that's how the whole winter is going to go, it's going to be a rough winter. And we're glad to have all these systems that we can just throw together and operate. We've got our little compost and solar powered system. We've got our little solar fan running, blowing air through that tube down through the floor and pumping it out into our airspace and circulating even more warmed up air as opposed to just circulating the cold air that's already in here we're, we're somehow transmitting heat to it whether it's through this little solar box as the air heats up and rises to the top it comes up and gets sucked down this tube and drawn all the way back to the other end or the air through our compost pile getting warmed up by compost and blowing into the airspace in this greenhouse. Now one quick observation, we used to have a water heater. We had a little box, a glass box that we built and we had water running through the hose and the sun would heat up the box and heat the hose. Well, when we had our first deep freeze, I think our system cracked because our system had froze up and that's why we went with compost instead of using the sun to heat water. So why I bring that up is because I have this wet spot on the floor. I thought it was just condensation falling down from the roof, but this is actually a wet spot. I believe our hose has a crack in it from when it had frozen, maybe a couple weeks back to a month ago when we had our different system operating. I've been noticing a little bit of water slowly leaking out of here and our water level has been going down slowly. Not a whole lot, but just enough that it probably is a crack. So I am going to look for some PEC tubing to try and supplement the system's hose. So that means I will be taking all of this apart, all of this apart, and rerunning a bunch of hose in this greenhouse. And I'm looking into ways and ordered some things to draw some energy off of that moving water so I'm not wasting any more energy and I can harness a little bit more out of the systems we already have running for free off of the sun. So I am actually pretty shocked that this greenhouse and all the systems are working as well as they have together with only one single layer of poly and no real insulation. We haven't even been able to complete our second layer either and we're still getting great harvest. This pak choy this is super high in protein and we've got tons of this growing. We've got tons of food in here. Just a whole different diversity so we can have a little diversified bounty when we come out and do harvest harvest from here and this is the whole purpose of why we built this is to try and grow our own food all winter and this is our first year we had just got this greenhouse up and just was barely able to plant it before it started getting cold on us so we've been kind of cranking it out and trying to successionally sow and get what we can planted and get what we can harvested and next winter we'll be in much better condition to grow plants all winter and we may even have another greenhouse built by then i just want to thank everybody for watching these videos and checking out all of our 
DIY heating experiments in our DIY grow. We've got to knock some of the snow off this greenhouse. It's getting pretty heavy up there. So I've got to go do some work and until next time.